So here's my next video. This time around, I'm going to work on the great Andre the Giant. Andre came in three different figures in the LJN line. He came in long hair, short hair, and he also had a the famous black strap, which is the most expensive of the lot. This one is more of a common, um, probably about a $14, $15 figure, depending on the condition that you get it in. This Andre doesn't look awful. However, he does have some scratches, some bumps and bruises, and we're gonna clean that up by giving him a bath. Um, normally, that's the first thing that I do is I fill up a my little plastic container with hot water and some soap, and then I'm just gonna dump Andre in. He's gonna sit for a couple hours, whether he likes it or not. And once I'm finished, what I will do is I will scrub him up. Oh boy. With my handy little brush that I've got here, and then I will uh, work on him a little bit more and take some of the use nail polish and take some of the other marker off. So we'll give Andre a bath and let him sit for a while, and then we'll come back to him later. Okay, so here's Andre coming out of his now cold bath because I had to go chaperone a junior high dance. Um, so here is Andre. I, what I will do is I will scrub him down with a brush um, that I have down there sitting with Adrian. And then I will use nail polish remover and we'll see how much of these marks we can actually get off. Uh, I'll spare you the video on this. I'll just show you what his uh, markings are looking like and I'll show you how the nail polish works. So I'll see you in a little bit. So here's Andre after his hot bath. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I've shown on most of my videos, how well nail polish remover and a Q-tip will take off your toughest scuffs. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Um, Andre does not want to cooperate. So before I do any of the painting, I will uh, take this off. A little bit of uh, elbow grease. Hard to do this with one hand. Usually I'm pinning them in there. And just with nail polish remover, look at how much that scuff that's probably been there for 20 years, if not more, is fading away. I'm going to set this down and see if I can get this going a little better. There we go. Maybe not. Maybe so. Sorry about this one. There we go. My apologies. That way I can two-hand it and get a little more muscle going on it. So the really the key is to take get your thumb in to where that head is. And so you're putting that pressure on and shaking your table. And you see how quickly that big mark goes away. There you go. So the marks that scare people away off of figures because they're they're too dirty or they're too too marked up. Never fear, because that's what the nail polish remover does. And you can see just right there, that one's gone. The only ones that I've struggled with are whatever these fady colored stains are. I, I'll try, but I don't know that I'm getting into that. I feel like that's something low deeper than whatever you know his rubber or that's stuck in there i don't know almost like burned in so that's not coming out uh so what i can do is match his skin tone or just not worry about and i feel like i'm just not going to worry about it because i don't feel like doing an entire skin tone on him when he's mostly this rubber so i'll just leave that um, but you can almost tell when it's a surface level and when it's not and i just feel like that's down below and i have no idea what that is so just that discoloration and we're just going to let it pass and well whatever i'll just hide him in the back <laughs> he's tall anyway so block up the front so and he's a tough character to stand up so um i will do a little bit more paint on him i will uh, clean him up and show you uh what kind of paint i would use to uh, touch him up as well as his hair here is andre post uh, nail polish remover. It looks like everything came off pretty well. Notice he had a couple of marks on his face. He had some on his back. And I'm telling you, that's the way to do it. Works really well. Uh, as I showed before, I, it just has this pink stain on it. So if any of you have had experience with this and, uh, before and have been able to rectify it, let me know in the comments. Um, so I will redo Andre with his hair. It should be fairly easy and I do have the blue that should work It should be a bright blue. So it should be a nice addition to my collection and I can uh, put Andre on the checklist 
So here's what I've done on Under the Giant so far. Uh, he only has two paint colors, and so I decided with his pants and his boots to use Award Blue, and it looks pretty good. Uh, it's just a shade, I think, darker than his normal color, but I'm okay with it. As I said before, these are my customs, and, and I like them that way. Um, so if you're a little bit off, it's all right with me, because this is my collection, I'm not gonna sell them. Um, so this is what I did with his hair. I've always had trouble with hair for these figures. Um, there is no one set color that works best. Now this looks bad, but that's okay, it worked. Um, so what this is, is this is a couple of drops of melted chocolate, um, well, probably about four drops, and then I used two drops of apple black, and it looked really good. Uh, you don't have a before picture, but uh, it looks pretty nice. And so I actually decided to do the hair of a couple of other of these guys because, much like you probably figured out with the LJN figures, they match really well. Um, so I'm going to do um, Terry Funk as well as um, Bruno San Martino's hair because they're relatively close. Uh, and we'll see how those turn out. I didn't plan on doing all of these today, but once you mix it and you find a match, generally I try to uh, go ahead and do the ones uh, that require that color. So I will do those as well today, but I will not um, do the rest of those figures. I'm just focused on Andre at the time being, and so we can wrap him up today pretty quickly. Here's my final Andre video. Uh, got them all wrapped up. Double checked all the stuff that I need to do. Uh, I did see I need to do his eyebrows. Uh, so I went back with some black and touched that up. And then I took the Mod Podge, put a nice thin coat on it, seal everything up. He's still drying just a little bit, uh, but he's pretty much ready to go. Uh, very pleased with this Andre. Um, do note, and I see it too, um, that I have this streaking here. I Again, if anybody has any ideas on how to get that out, I would appreciate it, um, but it's deeper than like the surface level. So um, not too bad. It's a nice, easy figure to do. Uh, again, not my favorite uh, mold of all time, but I need an Andre, so I was glad to get this one. It was all scuffed up, and now he's ready to go. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you next episode.